Hey, it's me, the JFT Network, coming back with another video. Just wanted to say I appreciate the views on my video on the Jets trading, trading prior. It's an honor to that to have that many views view my video. People view my video because you you aren't just views your people and hope you're having a great day. And today is another day for some more quarterback situation talking. I feel like I've been going over this a lot this off season. I've been I have. I've done I've mentioned it a lot in my football shows. Check it out. My Jets JFT football show. One, two, three, four. There are great shows. Um I know there's not many views, but please check them out because it's a great video. And it, those are great shows. Um those shows are going to be part are going to be um put off or how do I say this? Um moved until the season started because um this will be a weekly show. It's gonna change its name to the um to to um game day morning that or game or game day afternoon that recaps games and just talks football Sunday afternoons um during during the four o'clock games um so that's the that's my plan for that show that um series that will be stopped. We're we'll not have it tomorrow night. I'm sorry um, for the um, way. I just don't feel like it's getting enough views to keep on doing it. So um, anyway, let's get into the video now that I've took two minutes of your time. Um, this video is talking the pros and cons of Hackenberg. Christian Hackenberg, the rookie, um, last year coming into his second year as a starter. Well, this to be honest, he's never had a snap, so it's sort of still a rookie. I mean, other than he's gotten a year of knowing, knowing the system, which I think is great. Um, the first pro is, under a pro system, coaching system, he was quote-unquote great. Um, under Bill O'Brien at Penn State, he was great, in my opinion. Um, first round great, like you could argue, hey, Deshaun Watson good. Um, of course, Of course, maybe not that good, but anyway. So I believe that's a pro, and now he's under a pro system under John Morton. I believe that this is good. I believe he'll have a good shot there. Next, first con. He looked off the spot on his starts versus the Eagles in the preseason. Um, if you want to see this um, film, it's sort of, it's pretty much terror. It's sort of like... Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit of story about my life. I play basketball some, and I played in a game, and I came in. The first three, four minutes of my game, it was sort of, whole game was garbage time. I was y too young for the group, but I played anyway because I like um, bending the rules and crap like that. But anyway, I got in the game, made a couple made a couple mistakes, and I feel like that's what um, um, Hackenberg did. I made, like, a bunch of stupid fun... I let a ball go out of bounds. I made a I made an air ball shot, and the ball went slip because of the sweat. But anyway, um, that's a life story. Um, comment in the comment section, and I'll tell you more about that if you want to know. Um, anyway, but to be honest, he's sort of I, I'm imagining I'm imagining that he had what I like to call um what do you call it uh stage fright <laughs> I guess is what you'd call it. But I think he's I think that um bad I think that bad play is out now he can get playing good. Um number t number 2 pro. He got a year to grow. He got a year to grow which I love the fact that he's gone through he's gone through a year of red shirting in a year that we had a terrible team where we should have started him in week 17 but we didn't. Um that um that would have been probably a loss to the Bills we would have went 4 and 12 but Honestly, I, me as a statistician would have cared about the stats, but that it's not really how it happened. So we ended up getting the win there. But anyway, so um, like I was saying, got a year to grow. He got a year to learn the system, which is uh, great. We didn't need him that last year, so we didn't play him, which was one of the best decisions by Todd Bowles of his um, coaching career in New York City. Another another con. Um, we have no clue how good he really is. Um, the fact is that preseason, like my buddy said um, um, once, that um, 
one of my buddies said once, that they don't send out their starter. Other teams don't send out their starters. And realistically, is sending your second team, your second team, um, out to play as hard as they can to battle for a position in a di in a completely different league. The preseason is going a completely different league, so we don't really know how good he really is. Number three, pro. Um, the coaches say he's getting better. Um, the coaches say that he's getting better, which I believe. I believe I, I trust the coaches there. So w whether he is really getting better or not is pretty hard to tell. But, I mean, he, he can't get much worse than the Eagles start in that preseason game. Um, but, but once again, I believe that was just stage fight. Anyway, another, um, another con, number three con. He has to beat out Petty and McCallum. To get on the stage on the starting job, he's got to beat out Petty, who is okay compared. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really sure who I'd start if I was a coach. I'm. I'm as lost as they. I'm as unsure as they are. Um. I mean, you could argue that McCallum's the easier bet, but he he arguably isn't because of his because of his. Um, his career thus far, but if you if you want to learn about the Petty and Hackenberg, check out my um, check out the videos I'm gonna make in the next three four days about the jet about both of those quarterbacks. Um, this FYI, this pros and cons series is is going to be a three um, episode series on McAllen, Petty, and Hackenberg. So if you want to watch those, make sure to stay tuned here on the channel. Um, but anyway, ne the next pro number four pro is. He has McAllen to learn from, um, which is a great thing. McAllen is a veteran leader, and he's really just going to help the Jets um, for four million dollars. He hopefully doesn't get much playing time, but maybe well, we don't know. Another con, number four con. Um, he wants to play more than two games. He probably won't play more. The um thing is. He, the con is he probably won't play more than four games. I mean, two games in the preseason. Um, this is pretty much a fact now that we know that that there's no really um what do you call it um there's we don't really know the score of who we don't really have a um, rankings on who the, on who the top three quarterback on on what the rankings are on who's who's the number one star number two star number three so they're gonna try to find that out. The preseason, so they're gonna have to give um, Petty and McCallum and Hackenberg a chance in the preseason. So most likely, he's not gonna get three, two more than two games um, in the preseason. So that's a fact. Um, well, that's not a fact. He could get all four, but it's sort of out of the window by now. The number five um, pro is this season is pretty much a joke for the New York Jets. Um, we, everyone knows they're not going to make the playoffs. Um, at best, like I said, they might go eight and eight, or they could go four and twelve. I mean, and it could completely hit the fan, and we could learn nothing from the season. So that's a pro that he. Um, so the fans don't really have much high standards, so it'll give him a lot of t time. Like it could be just the whole season of, dr of garbage time. I don't think it will be, but it could be for the New York Jets. Number five, call, if the season doesn't go good um, within the first five weeks, it's probably going to just be throwing games out the window and hoping um, Johnson keeps um, hoping Johnson keeps balls or not, whatever. Um, number five, gone. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have the time to fail in New York, and and the New York media, and it's crazy, play, crazy to play with him. Um, let me reread read this to make it more clear. Um, the, he doesn't have much time to fail. The New York media and fans are crazy to play under, which is a, which is a fact. The fans um, in New York, in the New York media, just wants their teams to win, and if they aren't, it doesn't go well in their views. So that's um, my five pros and cons. Um, so, that, so if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. For more like this, hit the subscribe button, and have a nice day, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.